Hi everyone and all you in Maniacs, welcome back to ML Plays FIFA 15. Today we've got a top of the table clash with Hartlepool against league leaders Leighton Orion. Let's see who's we should, who well, we're hoping that we can one. beat these today. The we leaders, beat Blackpool Orion, who was second in the league last place, game. Hartlepool so United. fingers crossed we could get the well, win over Leighton Orient and help our title chances. Because, um, well, we, we jumped up the league a little bit. I think we went up to ninth place after the last game after beating them. We had a really good Fourth game against City, them, and well, yeah, we won. But um, as I say, United. today, Leighton Orient might be a bit Oxford of a different United thing, really, because uh, they're not really MK taking Dons. the league away from people, but they've been up there for near enough the whole time, so they're playing pretty well at the moment. Leighton Orient are all in the red, and Hartlepool are in the blue and white stripes as normal. We're going to go on five minutes on professional... And there, control all the team, here. and Smith here we go. We're off to Court Lane, Nick which is apparently late and Orient ground on FIFA 15. Here, Looking forward to it. Right, if you've seen it's my Leighton videos Orient before, you will know that I won't Hartley be Paul commentating United. on the late and Orient Hartley people. United I will just refer to them as late and Orient player, late and Orient striker, late and Orient midfielder, etc. I will commentate well for the Hartlepool players because I've kind of learned who they are. And as I say in my other game, in my other videos, I'm not learning the names of every single footballer in the league just to commentate on this, unfortunately. Anyway, there's a start in 11 for late and Orient. Playing a 4-4-2, pretty much the same as what we are, well, what we normally do. Our manager hasn't changed our formation or really changed much of the uh, the attacking, the way that we play the whole time we've played so this far. So I don't see why we'd be changing it now. As you can see, here's a Hartlepool starting eleven. We've got Shitty Barber in goal again. We've ducked with Kennedy Bates and Holden at the back. Compton, Walker, Miller and M. Mau in the middle. And up front, the same dream team, Alessandra and Lee, as what played against uh, Blackpool in the last game. Anyway, we're going to kick off. And it's uh, Hartlepool playing from right to left. And away they go. Leighton Orient kick the ball off. Miller comes straight in with a tackle, though. Trying to get the ball down the field already. Alessandra takes the ball now to Compton who passes it through towards Lee. Lee. Lee gets tackled but the ball falls to Kennedy who knocks it that's a through well ball there just and gets intercepted by the final defender that would have been lovely if he'd have got that through because uh, Alessandra was running straight onto it anyway Leighton that's Orient now pushing down the wing here. the ball goes out for a throw in thrown back into play he looks forward he tries to find people to Could play it to he's cut inside bit of skill there didn't manage to get past the uh, Walker it. though Anyway, Holden now with the ball. Plays the ball forward Here's to the Lee. outside of his foot, up towards Lee. Lee telling people to push forward. Then Mao on the far side starting to press up. And that's a lovely ball through towards Alessandra. Unfortunately, it gets intercepted by the, by the final defender again. But Lee's taking it back off him. He cuts inside. Only the last defender to beat. He does, and he has a shot of goal. It's just gone past the post. That was so unlucky. Beautiful bit of skill by Lee there, taking it around the Leighton Orient players. And the strike at the end and beating the keeper. He just needed to get it on target. That's a very good start for Hartlepool. Anyway, the goal kick gets kicked back into play up to the defender. He turns. And stands there waiting, knocks it across his goal face to the other player. He's looking for people to move forward. And Mal commits and misses the ball completely. And now Leighton Orient just knocking it up the wing. But a tackle there it's and the ball back. goes towards Alessandra. Gets intercepted though. And now they're passing it around between themselves again at Leighton Orient. They've cut inside and there's a tackle. And now it's Alessandra with a ball. Tries to do a lofted ball over the top towards Lee. Doesn't manage to do so. The ball gets played out wide. And now they're knocking it up the wing. And a bit further. And there's a player making the run on us. Three of them all playing together. What beautiful passing up that wing that was. That was a lovely bit of play by Leighton Orient. Finally gets closed down by Holden. And the ball Flag goes out eventually out for a throw in. That was very unlucky. But really nice play Bates. there by Leighton Orient. Bates now with the ball. Looks up. He's taking it forward. He gets intercepted by the midfielder. He passes it across. 
And now they're trying to cut inside. There's nobody in front of him. He has a shot at goal. And it takes a deflection off the defender by the looks of it. Barber got down to it, but it went round the corner and it's gone out for a goal kick. Uh, sorry, it had gone out for a corner. It did take a deflection, but Barber with a really good save there. He was on the, on the ball that time. Let's hope that he keeps it up for the rest of the match. So, Leighton Orient with a corner, crosses it over, out to the middle of the area. They don't manage to clear it, and it's still in the area. He passes it forward, cuts it across goal, and he's foot out, and it's gone in. Straight past Barber. What a lovely goal by Leighton Orient. Just flicked it through into the middle. He must have seen the player coming in. It did look like he was offside, but I think he was getting played onside by, uh, by Bates, it looks like. But um, what a beautiful pass, lovely finish as well. Just steers it into the net from a couple of yards out. Really good goal and the Leighton Orient fans are going crazy. They know that that could take them further away with the top of this league. That's Sean Butt with the goal there on 22 minutes. Anyway, it's Leighton Orient 1, Hartlepool 0. Not a good start for Hartlepool. They've had a few shots at goal, but unfortunately they didn't put them in. Leighton Orient showed them how to do it. Hartlepool now kick off again with the ball, and it's M. Mal plays the ball up wide to Duckworth. Duckworth cuts it into Walker. Walker plays it across to uh, Lee, who passes it forward towards Alessandra, but it gets cleared out by the defender. And Mal keeps the ball in. Thought it was going out there. Now Miller. Miller running forward. He's cutting inside. Oh, he has a shot from a long way out, but there's not enough power in it to reach the goal, and it goes out for a goal kick. What a great strike by Miller. Form recently. Been struggling, hasn't he? It's not the kind of form that we've become accustomed to with this lad. I don't know what's going on. Okay, Leighton Orient kick the ball back in for the uh, goal kick and now they're on the attack, it's gone through to the striker who's looking forward, he tries to pass it forward, he does, he manages to get it up there, he's taking it out wide, cuts around Compton but doesn't manage to do so, the ball gets ricocheted into Alessandro, tries a long through pass to towards Lee, gets intercepted though, I don't get why they can't make that last through pass. They seem to be getting intercepted all the time. They may have to try a different tactic here. Alessandra now with a ball outside the penalty area. We know he can hit him from there. As he tries to have a shot, he gets tackled. And now it's Leighton Orient on the break again. Knocks it out wide. He's got two people, three people with him. They're all running the up. The Will he get the crossover? It looks cross. like he does. He's managed to get a cross and the header out the there by the defender. It drops towards the late and Orient player. Has a shot and he's took a deflection and it's gone in again. Oh my God, this is not good for Hartlepool United. They find themselves 2-0 down after 36 minutes. That was a really well-worked goal. A bit of luck though for late and Orient. The ball comes out and the striker hits it at goal. It takes a deflection off Bates straight into the path of the incoming Leighton Orient player who smashes it straight into the goal. Barber should have been a bit more on form there, unfortunately, but he, he wasn't, and that's it. It is Hartley Paul nil, Leighton Orient 2. Sergio Hippendinger gets his second goal in the Football League this season. What a game so far. Leighton Orient showing why they're top of this league. So Hartlepool kick off again. This is becoming a regular occurrence for them. Will they be able to score two goals and claw this game back? Ball played forward to Lee. He looks forward and goes to Alessandra. Alessandra loses the ball again on the final pass once more. I don't understand how they're going to break down this defence. They keep chipping at them but they just can't get it through. And now Leighton Orient well, are through right again on the break. And Mal right struggling well. to get back. He manages to do so, but they still get the crossover. The header towards goal, and he gets cleared out far by Compton, but only as far as one of the That's midfielders for Leighton Orient, who Lincoln. loses the ball straight away to the Hartlepool player. And now Lee's on the run, loses out to the defender. The Alessandra the grabs the, the ball here. back and now he's going on a run. We know that he can run down and put the ball in the net. He's in the penalty area, he cuts inside. Has a shot and goal and a lovely save by the keeper. It's off the crossbar as it comes out and the header from Alessandra. 
hits a crossbar. That could have been 2-1. He didn't manage to do so. And a long-range shot there just goes over the woodwork from Miller. Very unlucky there for Hartlepool. Let's have another look at that shot from Miller there. He's it's dipping, but it's just got that little bit too much height. It's coming down just wide as well, unfortunately. Miller having a sniff of his armpits to see if he's done enough work today. You can always tell if you've done enough work if you stick. Anyway, the ball's kicked back into play by the goalie and now Leighton Orient on the attack again. Cut out by Kennedy, who plays it forward to Walker. Plays it out into space, but there's a free kick there. The referee's blown for the free kick. Very late tackle by Sergio Hippeninga. A to this team in his first season at the club. And it's late. It's uh, Hartley yeah, Paul's free been. kick. It's uh, been worth the effort and the money it took to bring him to the football club. Okay, so Bates looks forward for a long pass. He knocks it right forward. Gets intercepted by the defender. And there we go. The referee, referee has blown, blown for the end of his first it's half. And he has finished his first half so far as Leighton Orient 2, Hartlepool nil. What is going to happen in this second half? Will Hartlepool be able to claw this game back? Is it out of reach already against the league leaders? I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, here's the quick highlights. We'll show you all of the highlights at the very end of the match. So, if I just click this, and there we go. There's the scores from around the grounds. If you want to see them, pause it or rewind it, because I'm going to click through it, and we're going to start the second half. Away we go. Hartley Paul to kick off. Now kicking from left to right. Let's see what they can do this order. half. The manager will have had a word with them and told them what they've got to do. They need to really pull it out of the bag and come from behind to score two. Might be a bit of a challenge already. The ball played towards Miller. Miller has a shot to goal and it takes a deflection. Just goes wide. He's having some beautiful shots from outside the area is Miller. You can see here how close it is. He's beat the keeper easily and it's just shaved the post. I thought it had gone out for a corner, but obviously it hasn't. It didn't take a deflection as I thought it did. So, we're going to have a goal kick back into play from Leighton Orient. He kicks it right up the field, straight to his player. Bought down by the hand, and ball there, referee. Excellent referee position. waves play on. And now made. they're on the attack again. That was a quite clear handball, the way that he controlled Walsall. that. I don't know how the it's referee didn't Portfield. see that, unless he hasn't got his glasses on. Anyway, That's Miller's on the attack. He's running Strong down the pitch, but he here. gets taken out by the defender right at the end. And Mal trying to get back to get this ball. He doesn't manage to do so, and it's passed forward towards the other midfielder. Now it's gone back to the That's defender. He's looking for people there. to play to. He knocks it past Compton, no Since problems at all. And now the they're going up the team. wing again. Late and Orient, the way they play that wing is absolutely the brilliant. Uh, Referee the waves play on for the match, tackle there that's coming from Holden. And now they've knocked it forward Walsall. again. Holden gets skinned. Ball comes across. The midfielder takes it just around the Hartley ball player. And he's knocked it through. Ball lovely. And he has a shot at goal. And Barber saves it. Doesn't manage to get hold of it. The, the uh, late and Orient player running in to try and finish it off. Barber manages to scramble and get the ball back in the end. But that could have been a very costly mistake again. Absolute shocking goalkeeping by Barber there. When you're doing shots like that, you need to be catching the ball. Anyway, the uh, referee is blown for an offside decision. Uh, really weird way to call an offside decision right on the halfway line. Now we're going to take off Miller. Had a brilliant game so far, making a substitution. Really good game so far, but I think he's twinged his knee a little bit. So we're going to have to take him off to make sure he doesn't cause any more damage to himself. Um, also, Leighton Orient are bringing on some players as well, having a change. They brought on McNuff for Bat, the goal scorer. And uh, Hartlepool took off Miller and bought on Woods for this second half. They think that Woods' uh, little touches and dinks Woods. here and there will be the difference maker. Anyway, Alessandra straight away gets the ball from a pass from Woods, tries to play it forwards, but unfortunately, there's an offside decision and the linesman flags for it straight away. Just a change now. Okay, so He's now bringing on a new making another change. James comes on. Uh, 
and Riverdo goes off. Anyway, ball played forward, long from the free kick. Picked up by Duckworth, passes Woods. it to Woods. Woods now looks forward. He can see Alessandra the making the run. He can see make Lee change. making the run, but Woods is going in alone. He has a shot and it's just fizz past the post again. Beautiful shot there by Woods. Look at how close that was. It could have been the goal to pull it back a little bit. Now we're going to bring off Walker and bring on Hawkins. We know that Hawkins can score goals and hopefully he'll be able to make the difference in this match. Once again, the kit lady hasn't cleaned the socks for the Hartley Ball players again, and they're playing in dirty kit. I don't know what's wrong with that washing machine. It's absolutely shocking. Anyway, the ball gets kicked out there because there's an extra ball on the pitch. So we've got the goal kick. He plays it long up the field, straight up to the striker. He plays a lovely through ball there, and he takes That's it around the defence. Manages to get his leg in, though, just Bates and stops the attack. Now it's Lee, passes it out wide to Mao. He passes it through to Alessandra, knocks it up to Hawkins. Now Hawkins going on a run, tries to have a shot from a long way out, and the deflection goes out for a corner. And you can see that that strike would have been on target as well. And it was kind of like the sort of height that would He's have flown in the back of the, the net. Yeah, good so we're going to take off Lee him. now and bring and on Hearn, I think well. it is, because, uh, well, so, uh, Lee's uh, not so really done much this weeks. game apart from the first half. He had that one shot goal and that's about it, really. So let's see if Hearn's speed can get around the defenders. The manager making the final substitution of the day for Hartlepool. M. Mao to take the corner. And it's taken deep into the centre, up to the Goes penalty to eight spot. Away. Holden now gets the ball, it's been headed out clear. He cuts it over towards the two strikers, the but the referee has free blown kick. for a free kick. I think it's another offside decision. I think Hearn was just offside there. Yeah, looks like he did move with the line of play, unfortunately. So the referee flagged for an offside. Ball played out just to the edge of the defender who plays it forward to the other defender and Jeremy now they're going McEnough. up the wing on this left hand side and Mao gets the ball though he tackles he the defender well. plays it across the front oh, towards her who attempt. tries to do a little you chip shot over towards yeah, Alessandra so that Alessandra can get on the end of it a bit of lack of communication there but unfortunately a wasted chance by Hartlepool to pull back this match making his intentions clear there from the sideline Sounds as if the manager is having a go at his uh, players and telling them what they've got to do. They need to put this ball in the net. There's 75 minutes played. Uh, sorry, 76 minutes played at this point of the match. And it's uh, only Leighton Orient 2. Hartlepool nil. Hartlepool have had several chances. You can see that both managers are in their um, information area on the corner of the touchline. And now the ball played over into the centre of the penalty area it gets headed clear though as I was saying the managers are out on the touchline giving instructions towards their team they Thanks. know that they've got to beat these people at the top of the league to get a bit of a morale boost to Shots be able to keep him with a chance of getting up there in the playoffs and now Leighton Orient are once again the on the forward. attack Goal he's taking it round three players so far that's field. a beautiful Seven bit of play unfortunately it gets one. taken that's off Alan. him and now it gets played back up the field, but they've intercepted it. And now Leighton Orient are on the charge the again, really trying to keep hold They're of the ball, trying to stop Hartlepool from the getting it. It's 84 well, minutes played. They've got less than six position. minutes to play to all get two to goals back. Lovely bit of play by Hearn, and he slots it past the keeper. There's one of the goals that are on the comeback. What a goal by Hearn. He runs it down, he takes it past the one defender, then cuts inside, takes it past the second defender and slots it just past the keeper. Lovely bit of play, lovely well taken goal by Hearn there. Let's see if this now is the fight back that Hartley Paul need. You can see the fans go crazy once they see that goal go in. It takes a bit of relief off, uh, off Barber's shoulders for the fuck-ups that he did. That's Hearn's third goal as well in this f um, first division now. And the scoreline is So, Leighton Orient to kick off. There is less than four minutes to score another goal to get the draw. Can they squeeze a draw? Can they get the win? 
I've seen stranger things happen. I've seen three or four goals go in within the last couple of minutes of a this game of FIFA before. Football, anyway, the ball leading. played forward to Bates. Cheering. Now he's knocked it forward to Enmau. Enmau going on a run, gets well, blocked the out by the midfielder. The push, 90 minutes has been played. There is five minutes of added time left to go for injuries and extra time. So now, Leighton Orient on the attack. Hartlepool get the ball back. They're playing it long up the field. Enmau with the ball, trying to run through. Doesn't manage to do so. They've knocked it through Hawkins. again, and it's Hawkins with the ball. Plays a lovely ball through to Alessandra. Tries to turn, doesn't manage it. And oh, and there's a final shot to goal, and it's it. saved it's by the keeper. The chance of sending up the goalkeeper as well. Someone's now, Barber coming up for this final attempt. Everybody it's gone out for a corner. Barber trying to come up and save his blushes. If he can score the winning goal, that would... Well, the drawing goal, that would be really good for him. And Mal now takes the corner, puts it over into the middle. Headed downwards. Oh, it takes a deflection of his own man and it's cleared by the Leighton Orient defender straight up towards Leighton Orient striker and I think that will be the end of the match there it is the final whistle has blown the referee has finished it here as uh, Leighton Orient 2 Hartlepool 1 if Hartlepool had played that well as they did in the last five minutes of that game for the whole match, I think it would have been a different score here. Absolute brilliant game. Leighton Orient go on trampling up the top of this league. Hartlepool now will have probably dropped a couple of places down the league, unfortunately for them. But, uh, well, we can see if we can get the comeback next time. We beat Blackpool. We've drawn... Well, we lost to Leighton Orient. I know that... Um, we're going to have a bit of a problem with morale, but these are the top two teams. The last two games have been really hard. Hopefully now the next game won't be as tough as what these other two have been. And here's the first goal. As you can see, he cuts it inside. Beautifully taken goal. Barber didn't stand a chance with that one. And uh, he slotted it straight past him. To be honest with you, Bates was the one at fault, really. And here's the second goal where it takes a deflection. Goal! Barber actually out of place so there. He should have been in the centre of his goal, not on the near side post. And here's the header at goal that Alessandra could have scored. It rebounded back off the crossbar. And there's Miller's shot that followed up afterwards, only just shaving the post and going wide. They had the chances, Hartlepool did. There's another strike at goal that Barber did actually save from the uh, Leighton Orient team. And here's Woods. Woods had a really good game when he come on. His little passes and all the rest of it, he's like the silent uh, the silent assassin, really, for the team. Anyway, here's Duckworth trying to get the ball forward. You can see the shirt being pulled by Dagnall there. And here we go. Here's Hearn's ball. He takes it round the defender. A really well-placed goal. Slots it past the keeper, just out of reach. And that was the first goal from Hartlepool of the game. Unfortunately, if they'd have scored a few more, would have been even better. And there's a final shot at goal from Compton that was saved. And that was how it finished. Leighton Orient 2, Hartlepool 1. Enmau scores a rating of 7. And he's got a few new skills to come on, like, you know. So, uh, obviously, for him playing all of his games and that, he's getting some skills. So, hopefully, they'll help him out in the next couple of games. Let's advance this. And here's the scores English from around the ground. One. Take it away, Blackpool, big man. One. Brentford, two. Bradford City, one. Scunthorpe United, nil. Chesterfield, two. Rochdale, one. Colchester United, one. Peterborough United, two. Crawley Town, nil. Yeovil Town, nil. Leighton Orient, two. Hartlepool United, one. Notts County, two. Rotherham United, two. Oldham Athletic, 1. Barnsley, 1. Oxford United, 0. Milton Keynes Dons, 0. Portsmouth, 0. Bristol City, 2. Tramia Rovers, 1. Blackpool Doncaster lost again. Rovers, That's really nil. good for us then. Walsall, 1. Unfortunately, Vail, if we'd have won, one. though, there against so Leighton Orient, it would have helped us even table. more. We've dropped At down now to 13th. You can Leighton see how close this table points. is, though. We're on in 32 second, points. Blackpool people above us, 33, 34. Third, a win will take us up to 7th. It's that close in, in this league. In anyway, I want to say a big thank you to everyone for watching and supporting Hartlepool United on this game of FIFA. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. And until then...
In Bye for now. And falling are Milton Keynes Dons with 34 points. In eighth, rising up the table are Bristol City with 34 points. Bottom of the table, Oldham Athletic with 19 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Scunthorpe United with 21 points. Third bottom, moving down, are Colchester United with 23 points. Fourth bottom, climbing the table, are Oxford United with 23 points. Fifth bottom and falling are Crawley Town with 26 points. Anyway, a big thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video of FIFA 15. Leave a like if you can and comment if you want to. And please click the big subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. Add me on all the social media sites. The links are in the descriptions. As is the information if you ever want to play a game with me. Also, come and join in the fun at the live streams that I do. Links are on the screen right now. Anyway, I hope to see you all in the next video. Once again, thanks for watching. And until then, bye for now.